Welcome back to Trails to Azure, video number 123 so far. So, uh, yeah, you can see Randy is just still hanging around next to his, uh, yeah, mirror. <laughs> All right, anyways, um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm at Belgard Gate. I didn't do anything, well, no off-screen grinding today yet, my bad, but cause I believe I might need more Mira, but, or, uh, yeah, Mira or Sapith, but I'm going to keep going through a bit more. So, I'm finally finished through, uh, you know, browsing run crossbell of day three of chapter three. So, uh, let's begin the, well, there's only two side requests. This might be the final day, right? Or I could be wrong. Maybe another day until chapter, until chapter four. So let's begin side requests and let's help out the CGF here. Yeah, good morning still raining though which sucks and i apologize about last video the the two videos because i catched a cold a bit and i got a stuffy nose and so sorry about that it really sucks when you got running nose a bit yep never did manage to track down that giant mouth don't worry about that we will handle it especially Wazi here so i feel a bit better today because i was kind of sick a little bit i don't know how the heck i catch cold during summer but oh well man Wazi, you okay it's cool i up the rails was the bigger priority yeah safety first and the citizens of crossbell and other people going to crossbell or something but I don't forget about the big front you focus on the task at hand. And again, like no one didn't die or passed away. So no fatalities. Reckless vehicle, huh? Anything West Man, it's like so much problems, man, in the West Crossbell Highway, uh especially Belgard Gate. During trails from zero, jeez, man. Especially the dumbass commanding officer, man. It's so dumb. But I haven't even seen his face. But who cares? It's been uh, causing trouble for Arabonian travelers and bus services, huh? To help us put a stop to it. All right. It's a problem, though. If it was that, imagine if it was that old lady that trying to get trying to escape to go to Arabonia. Man, that's a big problem. Oh my gosh. But she got captured, thankfully, in Calvert. Huh. This isn't helping matters either. Yeah. Jeez. Metropolitan uh, wait, division to catch the perpetrators, huh? All right, what's the plan then? So yes, the reckless car, it's a regular route. It comes down west, it's behind before turning around at Belgard Gate. A mistake out here. So once the car makes it approach, I want you to pursue it with. Oh, in our own vehicle. Okay. At that point, I'll alert them. Why well, can't Dudley do this? He has his own vehicle, and <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get our vehicle wrecked. I mean, can you imagine? That kind of sucks, though. If our vehicle got wrecked, I mean, that's ha that happens a lot. Yeah, pincer attack in uh, real life. You know, police vehicles get damaged and cost so much money to repair and all, but. Yeah, sure. So, car chase. I've seen a lot of car chase, bike chase, stuff like that. Yeah, especially in Trails of Cold Steel 3. Man, that was an interesting one. When I pick Ash. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's other games. Yeah, a lot of games of the Trails of Cold Steel games are like lots of chases. Um, like a vehicle chase, I mean.
Yep, let Noel do the crazy driving. Driven to the brink. Alright, so here's the bus, the tourist bus. On hold. While those people get wet. Jeez. No sign of that crazy car yet. But, you know, this is for safety's sake, but sure, it's even coming. Have to wait and see. So Kate and the division haven't been able to catch it on their own. CPD jurisdiction is... Okay. Whether inside the city or not, we can't let them but yeah, put civilians or the poor car in danger any longer. That's the spirit. <laughs> oh, finally, they let them in off screen a bit, but is that it? Oh no, it's them! Are you serious? No wonder why we couldn't find them around when I was browsing around Crossbell and their vehicle's not there. That's them. Those three guys uh, doing reckless driving. The, uh, what do you call it? The, the high bloods. Yeah, not iron bloods because iron bloods will kill them. The, the, but it's the high bloods. I hate these guys. It's terrible. It's them. Stupid bus almost. What? You the one? What? Oh no, he's getting away. Oh, you are so busted. You are so busted. That must be our car. Out of control. It's go time. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. So I'll call the shots. You just focus on driving. So yeah, this is probably one of these... Uh, I have to make the right choices. Right? <laughs> Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, everyone get in. Let's go. We gotta catch up to them. Come on, you guys. Wow, we somehow catch up to them. <laughs> Give them a little scare. And it's dangerous, you know. When they're driving into the rain, the road is slippery. So anyways, we're going to run right into them. Um, emergency navigate. So hit the emergency brakes. Change course and dodge. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Um, man, I don't know. But if I w if they would have do a hit emergency brakes, yeah, think about it. It's raining, right? So they might slip, right? Like, I don't know. So, yeah, they're going to change course and dodge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick this. I don't know if it's the right... I got it wrong. Damn it! <laughs> yep, miscalculation. That's my fault. Damn it! Yep, let's catch it up to them. So that's my fault. So I got it wrong. I was expecting they might slap it. We don't want to hit them, right? And cause an accident, right? I don't know how slippery it is, but... It's okay. Shit, damn. So they're going to get away at this rate. So now what? Reduce speed to the curve. Well, let's trust Noel's driving. I mean, she did crazy driving before in Trail from Zero. When she backed us up during that time uh, when we're trying to go to the Sunport. Yeah, so trust Noel's driving. There we go. She done crazy things, man. Took that curve at an impressive speed. Despite the unfavorable driving conditions. It's a little dangerous barreling down the road in the rain like this. Take more than a little drizzle to slow these treads. Not a runaway vehicle in crossbow that can outrun the wall seeker. <laughs> Close the gap. It's nice to see the interesting uh, chase. I mean, there's also one in Trials of Cold Steel 3 here. 
Not half bad. All we have to do is keep up and the pincer attack at the west exit go as planned. Uh oh, now what? Something's wrong. What's going on with their car? Oh no. I think it's kind of out of control. Oh, yep, brake aren't. Oh, the brake. Me, me, miss. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> my bad, my commentary. Yeah, losing control of the vehicle, the brakes and all. I mean, come on, it's raining, right? It's slippery, so what should we do? At this rate, it could be a serious accident, yes. Oh, crap, that is. I don't know. Oh, shoot. I need to think about this. Pull in front and cut them off. Dang, I don't know. I need to think about this. So if we go behind them, the car from behind, I don't know. Pull in front of them and cut them off. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. Just guess. But we can use our car to, as a wall to cut them off. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, like a shield, uh, you know, just in case. Oh. Well. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not that deep, right? Are we alive? Yeah. I was expecting them swim. There's, like, too bad there's no swimming animation. Like, these guys can't swim, it looks like, but I thought we were as a goner. So I think I made the correct choice, I believe. So it's a good thing, like, if I didn't do it, then they would have hit that uh, that thing right there. And, yeah, they would have get seriously hurt. But instead, that one's okay. Maybe pulling ahead. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I think I got it wrong. Damn it! I'm tempting to reload just to see all the correct choices, what it looks like. So my bad, you guys. I think it was. Things uh, could have gone a lot worse than they did. So, moreover, they turned the steering wheel of their own accord. They have no one to blame but themselves. The bright side, the car managed to avoid sustaining... Yeah, true. But I have to get that car out of there, man. Yeah, a little water never hurt anyone. They seem to be glad that they're still in one, one piece. Yeah, they're going to jail. Let's report this to the second lieutenant Muriel and the uh, yeah Metropolitan Division. Gosh, I hate these guys, especially what they did to that um cat and. But isn't the high bloods? They are a long ways from the residential district, so also under arrest for speeding, among various other charges. Yep. Wow, these guys don't even give a crap. Hold on a second. All right, sorry I'm back. I was sneezing, my bad. Then this rain is cold. I'm still a little sick, though, a little bit, unfortunately. Yeah, there you go. I was sneezing. I, I sneezed, too. You can consider this case closed. I, I, I missed two, and I got one correctly. Um, yeah, I'm going to reload just to see what it looks like. I mean, it's not that long, right? Attention the border have you said that ever. So allow me to express my gratitude on behalf of the... Yeah, thanks. Uh, likewise, Officer Kate. Yeah, no problem. Oh, how about a hug? <laughs> nah, just joking, no. Brake failure. That's the main reason they lost control. Like, the, yeah, brake failure. Sloppy and keeping this poor car maintained. It was something I've been forgetting to do recently. The orbital engine has shorted out completely. Huh. Ooh. Hate to see a good car go to waste, but at this point, you might have to scrap the whole thing. Ooh.
He had paid a full ton of strings with the Burn Company to get the latest model too. Oh, a car too. His pocket change to me. Let's go to the Orville store and buy another one. Hell yeah, you're you're the best, Yuri. Hey, wait a minute, you guys are going to jail. You can't do that. Hold on a second. Yeah, you're under arrest. You can't do that. It's going to come with a serious penalty. Oh, fucking hell. I'm eating some pizza and I accidentally spilled the Dr. Pepper. Alright, sorry I'm back. Uh, I was having a, a short break. You know, eating a slice of pizza and I accidentally spilled Dr. Pepper all over the place. Oops. I think you might hear in the background. Or, never mind. So anyways, let's uh, continue this. I'm tempting to reload. I mean, just want, I just want to see what it looks like, the correct ones. So, I mean, it's not that long, right? Yeah, penalty. How terrifying. I'm so glad I did not spill my Dr. Pepper all over on my controller. My PS5 controller. Damn, that was close. That is my penalty. Wait, we're foreigners. Do you really think you'd be able to do much? Oh, come on, dude. I hate these kind of people. <laughs> is it really that easy? State law doesn't hold a very big stick when it comes to executing non cross villains. Jeez. We've got places to be and things to do. But, oh my gosh. Pain of... I hate these guys. Jeez. Serious? No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> uh oh. Should read the Crossbell Times more often. Yep, state laws has been going through a lot of changes since Mayor Christ took his office. Yep, that's what the, if you guys remember back in the, uh, during that meeting in Orcus Tower, man, they, they have a lot of laws that they added, especially what Grimwood, uh, Mr. Grimwood was uh, talking to the SSS, you know, man, it's a lot. So the fact that the other day, a major part of the legal code was amended. Ooh. Just so happens, penalties for criminal acts perpetrated by foreigners have been strengthened. Ooh, what was that? <laughs> Dude, come on, you guys. You better listen to the officers here or you don't want to go end up uh, going against... Wait, that's right. Based on charges, we're looking... Ooh, a one month... What? One month suspension. How about longer? How about three months? <laughs> How's that for punishment? Or how about this other punishment? We'll get, uh, what's her name? We'll go call, uh, <laughs> Randy's cousin to give you guys punishment. No, but that's not going to happen, unfortunately. A whole month. You mean even if we brought a new car, wouldn't you been able to drive it? Places, so. Dude. What grounds do you have to suspend my driver's license? Uh oh. You puny cops, you puny autonomous state have to punish me. Going across with police that much power. Hey, Yuri Sykes, I don't think they're. Yeah, they're serious, man. Dude, these guys are spoiled brats, man. These rich, um, man. If this is how you want to play it, I'll just have to have my dad. Oh no, this again. My, have my dad use his influence to pressure their. You know, this is also reminds me of that time. I think it was Trails of Cold Steel 3, I think, or 4. I forgot. When they had to rescue the. Yeah, that was. I think it happened in Heimdall. Yeah, I think it's Trails of Cold Steel 3. And they, uh, holy cow, there was this rich boy, uh, this, this, you know, just like them. And it's like, and we on, we end up seeing him also in, in Crossbell, 
uh, his punishment um, in the hotel. So, so, sorry about that, you guys. I'm, I'm trying to remember, but... Oh, these guys are so busted. Yeah, give it up already. Damn. Acting like your mortal lives are in danger. I can tell you who does know how that feels on innocent bystanders. You're terrified with your reckless driving, yeah. Ever stop and think about that? <laughs> what the hell got into her? It's only a car. What's the worst that could... Jeez, this guy, man. I'm trying to say that you never saw the danger in what you were doing. Could have lost your lives if the SSS hadn't intervened. Yes, true. I mean, yeah, I thought I was done for when we plunged into that pond. Yep. This is my job. I can see it happen every single day. Reckless driving still more fear. People around you than you can imagine. You to tell me if it's just harmless fun. Man, get these guys out of here, man. The fact that you keep doing this proves that you have absolutely zero regard for physical or mental well-being of others. So yeah, these guys are just selfish. High bloods? You think you're noble? What a sick joke. Don't you three have any shame? Well... Oh, <laughs> get wrecked! Yeah, don't mess with Kate. Enough of this. You're coming with me to the headquarters. Whether you like it or not. What's much better if they take those three to, uh... I forgot her name. I can't believe her name. I forgot her name. Shit. Uh, you'll have plenty of time to reflect, uh... On this one, you're stuck at home for a month without your license. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. It's better for these guys to walk anyways, I mean... Hurry up your butts and patrol car before I get really mad. <laughs> yeah, you better listen to her. This guy, whatever. Um, wow. Uh, <laughs> what the? Yuri? Wait for us. Man, they just get in there. I mean, in real life, a police got to have a police behind them, you know, to escort them to the police car. I mean, just in case they do something stupid. You know, like stealing the police off, uh, you know, running away, or I don't know, stuff like that. It's like they're going to, to them after all. So it works, but probably if I were to make better decisions, then uh, maybe it could be a bit better. Maybe this uh, dialogue scene might be a bit different. So that's why I'm tempting to uh, maybe reload. Anytime, Kate. It is my fault for making dumb choices, but that's what happens in this kind of uh, side request that you have to uh, make right decisions. But... Know that your words stuck cord with me too. Without a doubt. Yep, three hoodlums. Oh, there she goes. So Lloyd and the others help to see you haul away from the high blood's car. Boho. Do where they return to Belgar Gate and resume their usual activities. Hmm. I'll be right back. I just want to see it real quickly. Oh no. So, Alright, sorry about that. My bad. I'm back, so I just want to see the correct choices. So last time I picked um, change course and dodge. Because I was stupid. I thought, like, you know, the rain, you know, it's slippery. And 
but I should have noticed. I think we got better tires, anyways, and better brakes. But so I'm gonna hit the bre emergency brakes. Immediates are out of control. As long as we're in this baby, we can close the gap in no time. Yep. So that's the correct choice, of course. But I think it's still catch up to them anyway. I mean, Noel's a really good driver. Man, I was tempting to see what it looks like, the uh, wrong one, but hmm. But I just want to see the the last one. But oh man, <laughs> I want to get all the DP. My bad, you guys. So you know, since uh, I'm just gonna keep going, I want to just see it everything. So because uh, yeah, let's see what it looks like um, if you reduce speed and through the curb. I mean, basically you just go slow, right? And then like Noel, get cut your speed in the bend and keep up chase. But I bet Noel's gonna ignore orders, right? Because she can do this. Oh, she still do it. Too slow though. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Need to catch up. They're leaving us in the yeah. Wasn't the time for it. If only I still yeah. This is what it looks like if you got the wrong choice. Cause I knew I I yeah miscalculation. I know, but I wanted to see what it looks like. My bad, but because I know that Noelle's a crazy driver. She can do it, especially the time in Trails from Zero. Now this is the one I wanted to see, so I'm just gonna fast forward ahead. Oh no! All right, so last time I picked this. Oh, I mean this one. Cut them off. Rear end of the car. All right, so this one. See what happens. We can minimize the overall damage if they fall into that pond. Yeah. What? They still fall in the pond anyways. So it doesn't matter? What? Well, you know, I'm glad that worked, but did we manage to do a little bit overboard? Yeah, I guess. Uh, aggressive. Got what they deserve, by my count. Huh. Yeah, I guess it's a little bit too aggressive. So I guess the, the first one is okay, I think. Isn't it? It's only one thing left to do. That's part. So yeah. Alright, so I'm back. Uh, yeah, nothing much new on it. So I checked everything. So uh, that's that done. That side request. So let's just move on. <laughs> My bad, you guys. I just want to see the, you know, the new one. So um, the different choices. My bad. Hmm. Alright, this is the last one I need to do, and then we're gonna finally keep going. Well, I need to report all this stuff, especially this, A Taste of Crossville, and, uh, yeah, we're going to a new area I've never been before. This is new. So I'll see you guys at the uh, downtown district. Alright, I'm back, and, uh, man, these kids are still playing around. So, yeah, I'm near the, uh, yes. Geofront Sector D. Thankfully, these kids didn't, like, go in there, jeez. So let's go. Let's just uh, take a quick peek because I got like around like six minutes. Ooh, this music. Let's see what the heck monsters were fighting. Hmm. Oh, already. Well, I did already rest up in the in our vehicle and I saved so. Okay. This place is huge. When we escape Arcus Tower during the trade conference. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Jeez, how much mirror the in blue connecting Corcus Tower to right under the people who needed it the most. Wow. 
The D sector was primarily designed as a parking structure for orbital vehicles, and yet there are none to be seen whatsoever. Wow, what a waste of what the heck? Because you know downtown, the downtown district, it's like a poor place, but not to mention this much space would be excessive. Even a place where cars are more common, like the Republic. So how many people did they expect would actually use a parking garage under the downtown district of all places? Jeez. What a waste of mirror, man. Should have used that mirror to at least help out the poor, you know, instead of building this garage. You know, help out those poor kids too and the residents and downtown district but most of the people out oh, now they wait what are chasms but you know more most of the uh people they're uh you know foreigners you know from calvert or Arabonia or whatsoever and yoink do some combat so okay what is rk i was expecting mons mostly monsters here one of the three upgrade fights and suppress posts uh, what Okay, so whatever, fight. And I don't have to identify them because I already did in the Orcus Tower. These are same enemies from Orcus Towers, basically. Uh, yep, makes sense. Water. So let's do some art. I can do blue drop. Thank you, guard. So yeah. What the? Really? Stop missing! There we go. Wow, experience is uh, doo doo. I mean, compared to the experience that you get in Knox Forest, so. And I kind of screwed up my timer, but oh well, <laughs> oops. Oh, you get your materials. Alright, so. Because the terrorists uh, of uh, Arabonia and Calvert, they. Yeah, these things. I mean, we also fight the uh, Archaisms in the Ravachi base, so whose Archaisms are these? And this abandoned sector here, so whatever. I'll show this off. Oh yeah, these things. Oh my god, I, I gotta look at his accuracy. What the heck is his accuracy? Uh, it's water too, right? Nope, it's 150 everything, so... Uh, you know what, just attack. Alright, sorry, I'm back. Just a little distraction. Yo uh, huh, I thought it was gonna blow up in motion, right? Whenever... Yeah, it detects motion, but it didn't blow up. And I thought it blow up, like, if you defeat it. You know, just like those other monsters, but never mind. Yes. Yeah, not bad, the Sapith. Oh boy. Anything here? No. Where's this ghost? Nowhere. Let's just search around the area. Swipe maybe one more. I'll do a quick battle. Hey, good job, Tia. Another area, but hold on. Oh. Okay, so... I think we need to hit all switches. Yeah, I can see one on the top. Who the heck designed this place? And yeah, we can't go through it here. So I'm just checking around the area first. Because, uh, again, I don't have that detection um, quartz. So I can see where the treasure chest at and the map. Huh. <laughs> Quick battle. <laughs> Alright, enemies aren't that bad. Um, do one more and then I'm gonna end the video. Sorry, you guys. Save this, uh. Oh, there we go. Save this, uh, boss fight, uh, monster hunt. For, uh, next video, I guess. So this is Ray on Trails to Azure. Uh, next time we'll go through the Geofront D sector. See what's up and we might find some more things, right? Maybe another Quartz Fragment, right? From the DG Cult? 
And then we need to find the uh, that golden cricket. Yeah, golden cricket again. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and goodbye everyone.